Want a recipe for success? Step one, visit ocdfamilypodcast.com forward slash courses. Step two, click on my link to browse OCD Training School's amazing course catalog. Step three, enroll. And step four, enjoy learning. With no added cost to you, you can support the OCD family community while grabbing some continuing education or learning how to bridge yourself to self-help strategies for OCD. Again, that's ocdfamilypodcast.com forward slash courses. And use my special link to sign up today. Hey fam, welcome back to the water cooler for our final episode of season two. This is episode 104, which is wild. Two years of great talk support, and we're going to end it with some of my favorite go-to resources. Because whether you've been in this community for a hot minute, or you're just arriving thinking, is this OCD? I want to highlight some helpful resources that are accessible to you today. First up, finding an OCD provider. We actually had an entire chat on finding an OCD specialist that I'll link in this episode's blog over at ocdfamilypodcast.com. Whether you're looking for someone trained in inference-based CBT or exposure and response prevention, or if you're just like, girl, I don't even know what I need, but point me in the right direction, I've got your back. And a quick link over to all the info you need. Next, community support. Sometimes just knowing we're not alone or connecting in our virtual neighborhood is so, so helpful. So I'm going to highlight a few of my faves. First, over on X, you can check out OCD Talk Hour. This runs approximately once a week, and you can just search hashtag OCD Talk Hour to keep up with all the chatter and support. A shout out to Sam Dobby out of the UK doing his thing and keeping this conversation going and flowing. Another resource that I love is the Autistic Dream Realms Project. This is a great resource created by two powerhouse creators, Autistic and Living the Dream and Autistic Realms. They discuss the intersection of OCD and being autistic, raising awareness, advocacy, and facilitating an important ongoing conversation to build better neurodiversity affirming care. Again, I'll have all those notes over on this episode's blog, but definitely check them out. Next, I'm going to link the International OCD Foundation's Catalog of Online Support Groups. Whether you have children, teens, or you're an adult looking for support, maybe grappling with an intersection where there isn't safe or accessible access to care, there's something for everyone, and even family members too. A lot of support groups are free resources, and while they do not replace therapy, they can create a life-giving village for OCD and OC-related disorder sufferers. And lastly, I'm going to share about some courses that you can check out over at ocdfamilypodcast.com forward slash courses, courtesy of OCD Training School. OCD Training School creates resources for therapists as well as self-help courses for warriors and families. And now, when you use my special link, you can support the OCD family community at no extra cost to you. So whether you're looking for continuing education or maybe just some hope from the absorbing nightmare that is OCD, ocdfamilypodcast.com forward slash courses has something for you. So check it out, support the pod, and learn more about the dynamic work OCD Training School continues to do for our community. All right, while there are countless additional resources I could mention, we'll park it there for now. OCD is overwhelming enough and the decision fatigue can be real when you're trying to wrap your mind around not just OCD, but surviving today. Just remember, you're not alone. We are better together. And I'll see you in Season 3.